Welcome everyone to this perspective drawing tutorial where we will be drawing this medieval house in two points perspective. We will begin by placing the horizon line across the lower half of the page and start to construct a box in two points perspective. Now this box is going to establish the size of the house we are drawing so feel free to change this up and make it any size you want. Here this box is taller than it is wide and as I draw this I extend my lines to the vanishing points which are off the page. The left vanishing point is not too far off the page but the right vanishing point is so that means I have to estimate the direction of my lines doing my best to aim them towards that point that will exist somewhere on the horizon line. Now I have this box drawn out and I'm going to section off part of this front plane here and extrude the top of this forwards. To do this I firstly wrap these lines around the box that I have creating another plane inside the box. I then extend these lines outwards to a length that I am happy with. This section that is extruding out is just above the horizon line which means we will slightly see the underside of it. I'm now going to add a pitched roof to this building and to do this I start by dividing up this front section crossing lines from each corner to find the centre point. I also do the same on the back plane. At the front I extend a line upwards to a height that is ideal for the top of this pitched roof and I take a line from the top of this back to that left vanishing point. I can now extend a line upwards at that back plane until it meets this and then I finish off this pitched roof by taking a line from each corner at either side to the top of this as well. This creates a triangular volume on top of these boxes that we will use to construct the roof. So I have this basic construction drawn out and I'm going to start developing this further. Now I'm going to continue working on this pitched roof because I need to add some thickness to it. And I also want it to overhang at either side. So I start off here by extending the sides of the roof outwards at both sides. And then I extend it forwards and backwards. I now have this roof overhanging the building at either side and now I add some thickness to this. I do this by following the incline of the roof, offsetting some lines around it. Now this roof is finished. Now I'm going to add some additional features underneath where the front of the building extrudes outwards. These likely have an official term, but they are like brackets for a shelf. I saw that a lot of medieval styled buildings had these when I was looking at some reference images. So I draw three of these in, one at either side and then one in the centre. The next step is to add the wooden planks around the facade of the building and these are only going to be on this top section and around the edges. I've also forgotten to add the chimney so I draw that in here and this is going to be a long rectangular box on the side of the house here and I'll make this around the same height as the roof and it's actually going to be pushed inside the roof slightly. I also add a section at the top of this to finish it off. At this stage I am developing the drawing and outlining all of these features including these wooden planks which are set on the underside of the roof where it extends out at the front. As you draw these in you need to consider the direction of your lines making sure they continue to converge to the vanishing point. I start to add some additional features to the facade of the building like this small window at the top here and then on this front plane I have already divided this up once but here I divide up both of these sections again and use these dividing lines to draw in two windows. I wrap the top and bottom lines of these windows around to the side of the house to transfer the height of them across and draw in another window on the side here. Now I also do the same below, I will divide up this section on the side plane and draw a window at the centre and at the front I will outline the position of the door and I will also draw in another window next to this to the side. The windows on this bottom section are going to have a different design as this bottom section is going to be stone and the section above will be wood. I now have all of the windows outlined and I am almost done constructing this house, here I just need to add a few more details. So 
so now the drawing is at a point where I can start to work over it and outline everything I have drawn, and this is often the approach I take when creating a drawing like this. I construct the drawing and then outline it before rendering it, and these lines here are more bold this time as I start to work over the lighter construction lines. I also add some details to the roof, to the windows, and also to the stone section below. Here this is in time lapse, but I also continue to develop the drawing before rendering it. Now I am ready to start rendering the drawing here, and again, I'll place this in a time lapse because I think that this part of the process is best viewed this way. Now it's completely optional, you don't have to render your drawing like I do here, but I often take the time at the end to do this, and by observing how I approach sections of the drawing here, you can see how I change the pressure I apply with the pencil to produce different shades, along with changing the motion of the pencil to produce varying textures. Once you have rendered your drawing, you are finished, and hopefully you have a result you are happy with. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then please give the video a like, I have many more on the channel, and I also produce many additional tutorials like this over on Patreon. 